Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob, and we're going to go ahead and do part two of the monitor fix. And I went ahead and put it back together uh, just so I could show how it comes apart. Now we're working on a Samsung SyncMaster 943BWT monitor. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to get this thing apart. You just kind of push upward, outer on that, or outward, and unsnap it. And it's that simple. So now we pull this, turn it over here, and just lift that off. That's how easy that is to get apart. So now, you take and unsnap this, And that just snaps into place with these two ears right here. And then these two ears down here is what these go into. So we'll set that aside. Then we'll unplug everything. And then we unplug this. And then we remove these. So now we've got this unit. And we need to get this board here off. So now we get our trusted computer tool and I love this tool man this, this thing is awesome it's got everything you need all your nut drivers your all your different size bits you got an extension for it you got the tweezers and I added that little screwdriver all right let me take these uh, three screws out Slide that out. Now we don't have to take this out, but I'm going to. Simply because I don't want this metal thing in my way. So we'll take these four out. I just um, finally got my eBay feedback cleared up today. Uh, I had a guy try to scam me, man, on eBay. Uh, I sent him a zip drive, and he tried to get the money back and keep the product. And then they left me a bad feedback saying that it, I didn't ship it right. And I knew better. Anyway, I got it cleaned up, got him straightened up. I don't know if this here comes loose or not. Yeah, it does. All right, so we'll unplug that and put that aside. All right, so now we got this little board. And remember... 
we put replaced these two right here and then we went and got these they finally came in so we got three of these that we got to replace so we got three of those so now I'm getting a kind of a collection of freaking capacitors and we're hoping this works so now we're going to separate these and straighten them up they look like they're in pretty rough shape and when you go to put capacitors in you have the negative side right there and it shows you the negative well that corresponds with the negative on the board so you take the uh, capacitor and you put it in with the negative pointing in that direction so now we'll take this and just kind of bend them over a little bit just enough to hold them in and then we'll solder that one so I'm gonna have to get my C and I here and then we'll solder that All right, guys, we've got it up and in place. So now let me hook up my connections. You hear that? See, it knows it's there. And I ain't even got the power hooked up to it. So, that don't make sense. So, it might not be fixed. Because it's doing the same thing. there hey we got it it's working now Now we've got it. <laughs> All right. Let's tighten these things up. So there you
there you go. We got them fixed. And it was just as simple as replacing a couple capacitors that are swelled. And my tip would be to have a better soldering iron than I had and a better way of desoldering. Uh, but I don't do it enough to actually worry about going and buying one. But I am this time. I'm going to see about see how much I can get a uh, nice soldering iron for. Because uh, I might just start uh, repairing monitors for people. The only problem is that's not the only thing that can go wrong with a monitor. And I can't always fix every one of them. So I only know about capacitors. And I know how to test resistors. But, uh, anyway, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you fix a monitor that goes black on you. Uh, as you can see, it's working now, and all I had to do is replace these capacitors, because all of them swelled up. And I guess when the electric went out, it just couldn't take it no more. Uh, in fact, right there, I bet, is the one that was bad. I bet these other ones were still working. But as you can see, the inside of that has come out the bottom. So that one there was probably the culprit. The rest of these would have been okay. But they were going to go anyway because they were starting to swell. So anytime you got swelled up capacitors, that's nine times out of ten is your culprit. So um, I hope this helps you guys out on the Samsung, Samsung uh, SyncMaster, Samsung SyncMaster 943- BWT monitor fix. Um, so I hope this was informative to you guys and uh, helps you guys out. And uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that thumbs up, the like. Not the dislike. Somebody disliked my first part of this video, so uh, I think that was kind of messed up. But thanks anyway. That helped me out too, because that just puts me in the top of the search. When when somebody searches, if it's got a bad feedback or thumbs down, it actually comes up in the search first before the one that don't have the uh, thumbs down. So. <laughs> You guys are just helping me out. Anyway, God bless you, whoever is giving me the thumbs down. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Later.